Hi guys, what's going on? It's John Sinclair TV back again and today I'm doing a quick um, preview of the game between Newcastle and PSG at St James's Park, kick off at 8 o'clock and the atmosphere is already building as well couple of PSG fans um, in full force as well and you know what? This is fantastic. Champions League is back in St James's Park after 20 long years. And guys, if you like the video, like what you watch, make sure you hit that like subscribe button. My numbers are going up. I've got over 6,000 subscribers too. So listen, we want those numbers going northwards and I'll be one happy man. So Newcastle's going in. We've got a couple of players out as you know. Um, probably Joel Linton might not be playing. Cannon Wilson could be back. Spain Botman's definitely out as well and also as well that um, it's just a shame really because um, you know Botman at the back is so immense he's so important to, them, to a team and it's going to be a big miss but let's see if Jamal Lascelles can come in and do a job and I hope he does because this is his first Champions League game um, since he's joined the club and look we've got to back this guy we've got to back our captain and back the team and also the midfield is going to be key. I think Elliot Anderson and Sean Longstaff, two Geordies in the midfield. Would that be fantastic uh, to get the rule for the club? It's the every Geordie's dream. And you know what? For, for them, Sean Longstaff's Champions League, Elliot Anderson Champions League, right? I mean, people would have laughed at you, yeah, but they're here for a reason because Newcastle finished fourth, yeah? And PSG is going to come here, killing Mbappé, playing on our St. James Park turf. Absolutely brilliant to see a world-class player to see him play at St. James's Park. Could be a future signing in the years to come, who knows? And also Dembele, Mirani, Fabian Ruiz as well, and Ramos as well in the PSG team. It's a star-studded team. When you look at their team, they look a fantastic team. The problem is they're just individuals, yeah? Newcastle United's play as a team. And I can see us getting over the line tonight. If you are going to win the game, we have got to defend properly. Defend properly and score goals from the end. We can got the, we've got the goals in us. We've got goals in us. We've got to defend properly. We do that, add it up together, we could win this game. I'm going to be positive. But if you're going to play balls over the top, now our back four ain't the quickest. They're not the quickest. And I think PSG may exploit that. Play ball over the top and they'll love that. And has got pierce, Mirandi got pierce, also Dembele too. And we've got to be on our guard tonight. If you shut them out, if you frustrate them, then we could win this game. And we'll see what happens. So guys, tell us your thoughts of the scoreline in the comment section as well. For me, I'm gonna go 2-1. And like I said, leave a comment section down below. Newcastle, PSG, at St James's Park. And as you can see, it's building up already, guys. And um, I'm gonna do the stadium cam, the fan cams, and as always, up them nice.
Fantastic team, and you know what? We made it, they made it easy for us today, like easy for us today. And you know what? As well, I'm lost for words, man. I'm lost for words. But the first goal is going to be key. I mean, then then barely could have scored in the fourth minute when he screwed up wide. That should be one on PSG. But Newcastle tried to call the game, to draw the game, settle down a bit. The first goal is going to come, and when it did, he's had a great shot. Johnny Rumor saved it, it fell to Miggy, and he just put it in the foul corner, leaving Dunham no chance whatsoever. That was 1 0 to Newcastle. Yeah? But we could draw the game, like I said. We could have gone 2 up. A lovely corner on the right. It fooled everybody. The Dunham found in Shah, and he hit a shot just past the post. Could have been 2 0. But guess what? It didn't matter. Come on! Get in there! Just have a short half time. I mean, Look, Tino, you know, I, I couldn't believe it, man. Dunham made a couple of fine saves. The ball's fed from the left. Dan Bubba flying at that. It seemed at the post, went over the line at first, but they were checking for offside. And when it did, it wasn't offside. The ball stood 2-0 to Newcastle. And we were saying, absolute dreamland. And I did not be in the situation, the decision, because PSG could quite use it any time. Yeah, we had them rocking. We had them rattled. They didn't like it. Come on! And then it's two and a half time. The first goal came after half time. Second half, Lofton crowned on the right. Sean sure lost right at the end of it. Even though Donald tried to, he did his best to save. Threw in the back of the net, make a 3 0 to Newcastle. And it was PM set on match. Not even PSG could come out from this 3 0 down. Not going to do against this. They're no different. And you know what it is, guys? We just calm it down a bit. PSG come at us. We defend it really well. Really well. Who won? <laughs> and then, and then um, PSG got the ball back. Look over the top. And then Luis Hernandez, Cannon's had it back like in 3 1. And then there's Ray Roy right there because look, there's in 10 hooks a little bit. I still think we got control of the game. But it was just those balls, we just wasn't careful. VAR checked it, and checked those all over, and then they tried to get the kid into the game. We had to be on our guard, Newcastle. And we did. We closed the game out despite PSG's best attacks. And we held firm. They wasted a few chances. Nick Poir had to make a fine save, which could have got 3 2. And then there was game more that on the stroke in 90 minutes. With Darren Shaw, if you want to finish off the PSG for what man? Finish off the style, finish off the style, and two, then two, <laughs> well, well, well. Two, finish off the style. Well, well, well. What a rocket on top coming from the big Swiss international. Game over, game set and match. And you know what? It was game over 4 1. 
51,000 turn up for the game, 52,000 turn up for the game. What can I say? Big plus to everyone that pitched today. Jamal LaSalle today, you better like a Trojan. Yeah? What a game he had. His best game and a black and white shirt. He's been up for nine, yeah? He's been up for nine Amen. seasons, yeah? Sean Lonsdale, outstanding. Bruno Gimalash, my God, he owed the midfield today. Owed that midfield. Oh, wow. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to do. Yeah? The PSG, I mean. I thought, Dan Burn, outstanding. Yeah, outstanding. Forget the third minute. Oh, two. Uh, He's no, with Jason Tindall. <laughs> Love it. And anyhow, and Jason Tindall deserves big props today. Yeah. Big props. Tactic spawn. Absolutely fantastic. You know, I lost for words. I don't know what to say. But you cannot top this. Yeah? Come on! I mean, this this is us better than 3 2 against Barca. Yeah? And we got four points now. We got Borussia Dortmund next game. We win that game takes us seven points. The next two wins, they can't get us to the last 16. But one game at a time, my guy. One game at a time. And it was just absolutely brilliant. What can I say? I'm sorry I had to shout because it's a bit rowdy and I need like. But all the players deserves eight out of ten's minimum. Absolutely fantastic today. And no, I'm gonna continue. So, guys, tell us what you think of the result. Absolute Maximum class. Mbappe. Hmm? Maximum um, Mbappe. Negative Dan Byrne. You said it, my guy. You said it. So, guys, tell us what you think. Like and subscribe. Tell us your thought on the game. We were absolutely fantastic here. Yeah? Like I said, the sales are standing. Long side are standing. When I let Anson came on, he was outstanding. Bruno, all the stage, yeah? Kieran Trippier, led by example, yeah? I tell you something, Anthony Gordon runs socks off again. Miggy, brilliant. And, what can I say? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Do subscribe to John Sinclair TV. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be back to the next one. And until then, up the max.